Hey everybody, it's the Van Show, and today we're talking to my friend, Bookie Vivat. Say hi, Bookie. Hi. Hey. Now, Bookie, we're so happy to have you on the show. I'm so happy to be here. You yeah. don't even know. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> now, Bookie, we want to know about you, and so, for expediency's sake, we'd like you to tell us as much about yourself as you can in mm. one minute. Uh, okay, Bookie is sort of my real name. It, it is my real name. I was, got it from birth. Uh, I think it is the reason why I write books, but I didn't realize it at the time. I have a complicated relationship with cats. One of them punched me in the face. What? It's very scary. You can find the video on the internet, but I'm not going <laughs> to tell you where. Um, I fell off a ladder one time when I was working at a bookstore, and I haven't worked at a bookstore since. So instead, I just write books to put into the bookstore. Um, <laughs> a little safer. I, I uh, love doodling. I... Uh, what else? What else? What else? You were interested in writing at a young age. I I think I always wrote stories. I didn't really think that I could be like an author. I didn't really think authors were real people or that they actually existed. Um, but I I always wrote stories. I just didn't think that it would be anything real. I just was doing it because it was fun. Is I I got the chance to meet um, Kevin Hankus, Ooh. who is an amazing author and illustrator, and actually his book Chrysanthemum was the reason why I kept my name Bookie. When I was younger, I really wanted to change it because I thought it was like a silly name and, and not normal. And then um, I read, my mom gave me this book Chrysanthemum to read, and it's all about embracing your name, embracing what makes you different. And I think actually meeting him was probably uh, like one of the most important author meeting experiences. Wow. And Before, I didn't even know that he was a real person. Right? Yeah. You just saw the name Kevin Hankus. You're like, oh, it must be some new computer right. that just pumps out books. Right. Yeah, like he's a digital person. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so now, I, I do, before we move on a little bit, I, I do want to stop for a second. Mm -hmm. You wanted to change your name from Bookie? Yes, I just, no one else had the name Bookie. Like, but that I should looked. be a reason you'd want to keep it. Yeah, but I, I thought I just wanted a really, uh, you know, I went would go to those uh, rest stops when I, we went on a road trip, and I'd look for my name, oh, and yeah. my name was never there. The closest nope. I got was Brooke, which was not my name. Not your so name at all. I just, I really wanted one of those. So one, maybe one day, I got to write to those companies and be like, you need to add the name Bookie. Right? Yeah. Or, or at least have a blank one that you could just write your own name on. Yes, yes. Right? Now That's I, a smart I, now I just money. like keep, every time I have a new name card that has my actual name, I keep it. So I just have a collection of name cards, I think, to make up for that <laughs> when I was younger. I didn't have any name cards. Did, did you have a name in mind that you were going to change your name to? Um, yeah. I, <laughs> I really liked uh, writing the name Elizabeth because of, it just looked really pretty. Elizabeth. And I thought it was very, like, posh and like lovely and so I really wanted the name Elizabeth. <laughs> I want to I want you to pretend that Frazzled has been made into a movie. Okay. And you're doing the trailer, the voiceover for the trailer. Ooh. And I want you to start it with in a world. <laughs> in a world. And then and then you do the trailer after oh. that. In a world where nothing makes sense comes the main character of Frazzled, Abby Wu, who is always freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> the end. The end, yeah. <laughs> and uh, coming to you summer 2020. That's a teaser. That's, yeah. that's a teaser trailer. Yeah, yeah. I don't have time to do the whole trailer. We only got like five minutes here. Come on. <laughs> so so is now is Abby a middle schooler? Yes. Yeah, so in the first book, she's starting middle school. And as you can guess, she's totally freaking out. Um, and yeah, so to kind of figure out whether or not she is going to survive, you kind of have to read the rest of the book. Ah, mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. Um, and then, and then, uh, apparently, she does survive though, because there's a sequel. Yes, there, there is a sequel. Spoiler, Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> she makes it through. But yes, and so in the sequel, she continues to struggle with things in middle school, and um, she like meets some new people because each of the books kind of pretty normal, mundane things happen. But in Abby's mind, everything is going nuts, and everything could possibly lead to impending doom. So uh, she kind of has to learn to deal with what does it look like to kind of make it through those situations. And is this an illustrated novel? Yes. So if you look at it. Yeah, can you open it up. Right? Go ahead. Give you like a little sneak peek. There's a ton of uh, words, but there's Ooh. also a lot of pictures. Yeah. And so I actually drew all the pictures as well. Really? Yeah. 
You're so talented. Yeah, I love doodling. And uh, actually, how the book started was um, because I love doodling so much, someone saw a book of doodles that I had drawn about my regular, everyday, crazy life. And they saw a really dramatic drawing that I uh, did that said, I live my life in a constant state of impending doom. Whoa. And uh, someone saw that and thought it would be a great book. So I guess I just <laughs> went with it. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.